I'd rather be delusional about the positive than the negative. I heard Tiffany Aliche say this on the Callum Johnson show on YouTube. He's one of my favorite channels to watch while I'm driving. I'll put a link to that episode in the um, description as well. She was talking about her seven-year-old niece and how she just expects these delusional things because she doesn't know she shouldn't. And she often gets them. And that quote has stuck with me because there's been something on my mind and let's talk about it. Isn't it interesting how people who limit their lives in a specific way like to tell you that you can't do something that you're actually doing? <laughs> Not only will they tell you you can't do it, they want to give you studies and statistics about why you can't do the thing that you're already doing. Um, I offer to you that studies and statistics versus spiritual resolve and personal study they're not the same they're not the same let's talk about it i am essence revealed and i am documenting this journey from actor to tractor as a 49 year old rookie trucker my journey to financial independence and life in location freedom so that other black women over 40 can see that it is never too late to start over no matter what the fear in our heads say or what the outside judgment which will come may be so there have been um, several times in my life where statistics and studies would have um, said to me I shouldn't do a thing, um, and yet I did it. So I'll give you a few examples. Um, I was an actor for 33 years. There is a 98% unemployment rate um, for actors, 98%. And yet for 33 years, I managed to be a working actor in New York doing commercials and voiceovers. If I had allowed the statistics to stop me, then I wouldn't have had the spiritual resolve to go to over 100 auditions before booking my first one, or to study for four years at NYU's Tisch School of the Arts to learn the craft of, um, of acting in the first place. Another one was I decided to um, work in strip clubs and I was told, you know, these executive gentlemen's clubs don't hire black dancers this was in the early 2000s and yet I often was maybe I was only one of three but I was there um, working in the very clubs that people told me statistically I wouldn't be able to get hired in and I did it anyway um, when I decided I wanted to do burlesque people were telling me that I should probably work as a stage kitten first in order to learn before I start performing never became a stage kitten respect the job immensely but i just started performing also there i was told you know xyz producers don't hire black performers i got hired by every single one that people told me don't hire black performers so when i hear people say that things like trading aren't possible i just ignore it it's not probable the probabilities are not in favor. 90% of people who try to trade fail. However, 90% of people don't have spiritual resolve and the dedication to personal study. And I can say it's taken me four years to study before I finally, A, was comfortable enough to put um, actual cash into the market to trade, and B, actually have some consistent profits in doing it. So I offer to you that if people want to limit their lives because of statistics and studies, let them, allow them, and then for what you want to pursue in your life, decide that you're going to have a spiritual resolve and that you're going to put in whatever personal study you need in order to succeed in it. Um, don't let other, others who limit their lives limit yours. See you guys later, play cousins.